Ooh, there could be something very good in the SWAT truck. Let me in the SWAT truck. And the SWAT truck. I want to be. Bentornati. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. We are here with Saren Compton uh, in our road roller and we are dead tired. <laughs> this scenario started as an infected scenario, we managed to beat the infection and we are now in the, well, early games of a run. We are trying to get, for example, a basic uh, toolkit together. However, we are dead tired, our simple knife spear is already a little bit damaged, I am thinking that maybe the best bet for this character is to would be to go back to our uh, makeshift base, which is I had to struggle a second to remember, but I think we are located in this rural house right here. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get back there and maybe get a few more hours of sleep. I think this dead tire condition is still something tied to the infection, uh, but. It, it should be over, like maybe in a, in a day, uh, it should be completely over, so so let's start the road roller's engine up, let's get back to base and let's get a few hours of sleep. Hey, wait a second, I see something uh, new to me. This thing, what is this? It's a field grave. We will always remember you. How quaint and also how random. I mean, peculiar folks in Starks, aren't they? Anyway, let's go back. Oh yes, while we drive back, there's this issue about the tile set. So, I'm not going to discuss the details, because it's not that it's a controversial um, situation. I mean, in my mind, the situation is pretty clear. If you want details, I'm 100% sure that you can go online and look up what's going on with the dead people tile set and you'll find plenty of forum threads, discussions, tweets uh, uh, on Twitter, of course, and stuff like that. The thing is though, basically um, a bunch of people, me included, think that the uh, some dead guy, the maintainer of the tile set doesn't really have his head in the right place because of stuff that he does because of the the way the let me say capricious way in which he takes the project abandons the project uh, and so on the thing is though I'm still using this style set and I'm gonna give you my reason and this reason is that while I strongly distance myself from some that guy's behavior, opinions and views, I see no reason to distance myself from a tile set he's been maintaining. Please note, maintaining. Not all the tiles are the result of his artistic expression even. Pretty simply, the pixels on the screen have nothing to do with the crap in his mind. Had some of the art reflected his behavior or views, I would certainly find it distasteful, but I don't. In addition to that, some dead guy gets absolutely nothing out of me using the tile set, doesn't get money or a personal endorsement, not even a thank you at this point, to be frank. I would instead maybe argue that he might get something out of the contrary. He figuratively stormed out and slammed the door because he wanted his opinions to be amplified in some way. But I have no intention of giving him not even the satisfaction of thinking that he forced me to do something. Not even a minor thing like changing tileset. So in the end, I don't really care that it stopped supporting the undead people tileset. Uh, yes, the tileset is slowly going to become obsolete and I will consider switching if and when it'll become broken enough to make uh, Ultica look like a better alternative. Okay, we wake up tired. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't see in here any indication of any effect of infection still, still added to this. The fact is though that we went to sleep dead tired and we wake up 
tired. Uh, there's light out outside. I don't know if I should try to sleep more during the day. Anyway, let's get let's get let's get something to eat, shall we? Uh, let me see if we have something in the in the thing here that maybe we want to transfer out. I mean, maybe we do. Uh, let's move. Okay, let me move a little bit of stuff and I'll be back to you in a second. All right, we, we can drop the pillow in here on the on the bed, of course. Pillow case with a pillow. Okay, drop it in there. By the way, I think I think I should have a cigarette. Yeah, that that that's gonna do something for my. For my everything, I think. Okay, we have stuff in here. Let's put some food in the fridge. So all of this, get in the fridge. Let's get, let's move. Let's move all the books on the appropriate well, appropriate, on the selected surface. There we go. And what else is in here? Clothing? Um, sunglasses. Let's have... Wait. Where did I leave the stylish sunglasses? I, I think they're in here. I had stylish sunglasses. Oh, stylish corrective glasses, not sunglasses. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm gonna take them because maybe I can use the lenses. So drop, drop a what? This. And then I have feet over sunglasses, but I'm not particularly keen on those. Also because I have nothing to fit them on. Okay, you know what? I don't think I should spend a, a lot more time like uh, uh, um, sorting stuff right now. There's an in-progress carving in here. There's a fire axe, a scissor jack, and a wood saw. I have on me a hammer, pliers, a screwdriver set, and an exacto knife, a scrub brush. I don't need the scrub brush. I leave the scrub brush here. And the lighter, heavy-duty flashlight. All right, all right, gas mask on me, cigarette butts, 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 boots, 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 boots. Okay, this is this is our cigarette butts space in here, okay. Anything else? I don't think so. Let me see if I maybe have enough to craft something. Long pointy stick, pointy stick, simple knife spear. Is a simple knife spear what I have already? Simple knife spear is what we're using right now. Yes, is what we're using right now. It's okay. It's what we have. Oh, but I should I should take a time to I should take a second to read all this stuff. At least to get to to squeeze the recipes out. That is, that, that, that is what you do. When you get the first read, you are squeezing the recipes out. Oh, another thing, since I'm doing this. I was uh, taking a look at the change log. Uh, at the point of recording, the exact time of recording, the very latest build, experimental build, doesn't work for me, doesn't load the game. Uh, I had to switch back over just one build, which by the way was just a couple of hours uh, old at that point. Um, but the thing is, I want to integrate the change log into my schedule. So I was thinking, why not try to do something like a video, but more like a podcast, where I just go through the change log and just, you know, just co comment comments on the change log. I don't know. I, I think I, I, I'll try it. Uh, let me know if this is something that can interest you. And uh, also keep an eye out because you may see a video like that crop crop up. I don't know when 
I don't want to make promises, but but I think it's gonna happen at some point. Oh, for sure I can do more stuff now. I can make a wood crossbow, a short bow, bone glue, okay. We can make a shovel. We need metal sawing, by the way. The, the hacksaw is one of the very things that we need. There's new practice stuff. There is dancing, look at that. Okay, dancing increases dodging, but only up to two. Okay, <laughs> this is this is funny, really. Practice some dancing moves with your imaginary partner. I love, I honestly love this. This is flavorful. Computer, beginner, practice the basics of using a computing device. You need an e-ink tablet PC. Okay, okay, I guess I can envision this being something like I'm going through the built-in help articles. Electronics, soldering, you need an integrated tool set or soldering iron, uh, solder, copper wire, two electronic scraps. Okay, practice soldering. Makes sense, I like that, makes sense. All right, so we are still tired, but not too much. Uh, oh, we, we are just thirsty and very hungry. So let's first of all, get some water in our canteen. So, gallon jug and clean, clean water, pour into a container, a plastic canteen, and we want to eat some clean water out of what? Out of the gallon jug, possibly. Wait, all the water went into the canteen? I think that's what happened. Uh, then what else do we want to eat? Vegetable pizza, lunch meat, bread. I think we can make some sort of toast or something like that. Let's make a peanut butter and honey sandwich. Two of those. With. You know what? With crackers, it's gonna be even more caloric. Let's do that. Look at that, a thousand calories. Get something like that. Okay, satisfied. Satisfied and hydrated. Also, let's have a toaster. Okay. We are satisfied. We are ready to go. So, ready to go where? Let's... Recall a second. There's a portal in Hebron. Hebron. We don't want to go there. We probably want to go back towards Stark, and we want to search in houses, uh, especially for tools. Then we want to have gas. I think. Uh, look at this. We have two separate tanks. I think. So wait a second, stop, stop for a second, stop driving. Um, I want to siphon gas from here, fill an available tank. Okay, this way we have another tank available. And I can also fill this tank with some gasoline that I have in a gallon jug. Okay, now this is not for the vehicle, of course, because this vehicle doesn't have a gas engine. It's on, only... It's, it's only got a diesel engine. The thing is though, I want gasoline to make Molotov cocktails because the uh, theme of this uh, of this run is gonna be fire. So definitely we want to get into Molotov cocktails and ouch. Uh, can I, okay, thank you. Can you go straight, please, Saren? Don't don't demolish the base. Don't demolish your base, girl. We need that. Definitely need that. So yeah, let's go get tools. Let's go get materials. Let's go get flammables.
You know what? These guys... Let's have a little bit of action. Let's have a little bit of combat. Come on. I have a spear. I'm not afraid to use it. 20 damage. Wait. 19. 25. And he's dead. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. There you go, all nice and tidy. What do you have, guys? Nothing, absolutely nothing. And that might be because you were raised from just simple corpses? Yep. Oh, cigarettes. Give me. Leather pants. In suit. A pack of cigarettes. Do I know how many? It's a pack with three cigarettes. Can I place the cigarettes with my other cigarettes? Oh, oh no, oh, this is not good. Um, put the cigarettes in your inventory. Let's get the hidden cigarettes. Insert. I cannot insert the other cigarettes in this pack of cigarettes. Why? Because... Oh, because this already has 19 cigarettes? No, all the cigarettes are in there already. Right? Drop the pack. That's now a simple pack. Okay, what is a... Uh, what is this? A boarded up something. Should we go and take a look? There could be stuff. Like nails. Oh, it's all boarded up though. Okay, you know what? Let's approach this with a little bit more caution. Peek inside. Okay, there's 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 nobody in here. Also no items. What is this? A pile of rubble. I don't think I can do anything with the pile of rubble. I can move it with a shovel. Okay. I don't have a shovel. And I don't care for a pile of rubble at the moment. So let's resume our journey. Where am I? Okay. Turn in here. Another solitary zombie. Let's get a little bit more practice with this guy. Oh, the knife spear is getting very, very damaged. I think there was a body in here. Nothing interesting. Okay, this uh, spear has a problem. The problem is, it doesn't really last very long. But, if we manage to find a, uh, a hacksaw, we can make a pipe spear. And the pipe spear is gonna be so much better. Is there anything interesting in here? Sports drinks. Or... Oh, an MP3 player. I, can, I could use that. I could use that. Hard leg guards? Oh yeah. All right, all right. Um, the thing is, though, stop in here. If, 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 listen to me, if 
This zombie here destroys entirely my spear. Oh, there's, a, there, there's another one around. Uh, what will I do? I think I will be, still be left with, uh, with the long stick, so there's a possibility that, that I can still use that. Okay, it's almost totally broken. This guy is pulped. I can take the MP3 player, the pistachios, the hard leg guards. I'll take. No, I, I will not take that raincoat. I want a better one. I'll take the cigarettes. And I'll take the sports drinks. And I'll close the door. And I'll move the stuff in here. Okay. You know what? We should also eat some vitamins. Yep. Uh, there's a there's a scurvy. Scurvy's back in the game. I want to try and get into a more remote location. Okay, let's uh, let's have these guys follow us for a second. There's one aspect of the road roller that you might see as a detrimental effect, but in some specific circumstances is actually good, and it is the fact that zombies can see you inside the road roller. Pretty much always. Why is this good? It is good because you can basically have them follow you uh, no matter what direction you're going. You know? See? They're all following me because they can all see me. And I can totally, totally lead them away from the city. See? Okay. I think I'm far enough now. That I can do this, go up north. And avoid boulders, possibly. Right. And now we are behind all those houses. Uh, there's more zombies in here. So, tell you what, I'm gonna go back. Oh, did they hear? I think they heard already. That's not super good. And there's a fat zombie there. Okay, let's try and stop for a second. This is all very noisy. This is a very noisy vehicle. Okay. The spear is gonna break. That's what that's what's gonna happen. Okay, not yet. Not yet. Well, it's actually holding down uh, by, by, by a small string, basically. Um, there's a wallet with nine... Oh, a mail carrier shirt? A light blue button-down shirt with a couple of pockets. I don't think I need that. Okay, what you do in this situation, you go in the inventory, you select something like your army pants, you do insert, and this way, you can select stuff directly from inside the wallet. I learned about this by following uh, Vormitrax. I don't want any dollar bill, I don't think, especially when I can have a cash card. Okay, cool. And I think we now get back inside this house. So, is there more stuff that I want? It's a comic book. Leggings. 
So I need to spend some time getting accustomed to a clothing again. Because for example, something like leggings, leggings used to have one full point of uh, damage reduction. Now that we have the decimals, it's 0 0.2. <laughs> so it's not, not as good as it was before, right? Okay, light gloves instead. White glove is 0 0.2 again. Thermal electric socks 0 0.3. Undershirt. So l layering clothing isn't as good anymore. Did I visit this? I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, Trapper's Life we had already. Advanced Economic, Root Beer, give me Root Beer. Family Photos, Candies, oh, Clean Water. Glass bottle, okay, give me the glass bottle. I need that for models of cocktails. More clean water, a hot plate. Okay, maybe I wasn't in here specifically. A jean jacket, jean jacket. You know, I would expect a little bit more protection from jeans, you know? I mean, denim fabric is supposed to be pretty tough. It, it was invented in Genoa. Uh, specifically for workers, you know? Detergent. I might use some detergent and a towel. Uh, a soda can stove kit. Soap. This door is locked. I don't have means of getting inside do I not from the not from here at least steak knife small fire extinguisher scrub brush I have a sponge I don't have chopstick fork spoon cup detergent dish towel and a rag ketchup mayonnaise and mustard <laughs> nice Candles are good. Eggs are good. Light battery. More generic food. Let's drop some of this stuff. Okay, let's take a look at the other part of the house. Let's take a look in here. Uh, I think I heard... I think I heard sound of uh, glass being shattered, but it probably wasn't from around this house. Huh. So I think I will produce some sound of glass smashing now. Oh hell, what is that? What just happened? What just happened? So I broke this and then we heard a lot of sound from here. Now I'm not hearing any sound at all. What is that? What is happening? Nothing I can see. You know, I, I just don't want to be in the situation where I, I don't like a, a big hulking monster. Uh, comes out all of a sudden. All right. Leather trench coat. Okay, leather trench coat. Three protection. So leather, in some situation, leather is still good. 
jeans, normal jeans, 25, 0, 025. I would argue that a good pair of jeans. I mean, maybe, maybe not bash, like no type of cloth that is uh, that is straight up cloth. Like to 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 get you um, bash resistance, so like resistance from a mace or something like that. You need something that is fluffy, something that is cu um, cushioned, right? Uh, or at least a lot of layers. So jeans is not gonna protect you from bash, but cut cut damage. Like if it's strong fabric, it should have some measure of protection from uh, cut and maybe even from uh, piercing. But anyway, dress shoes, get a socks, sheet. What was a thob? Long loose fitting room with sleeve, a traditional Arab garment. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now I see. Now I understand. Nothing in here. This is closed. I should say locked. What's... Okay. And here we have sponge, towel, water, aspirin, codeine. Oh, codeine. Okay. Sleeping pills now seem fairly... Um... Look at this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Narrow spectrum antibiotics. I mean, we won't need those ever again because and if we have like hydrogen peroxide or antiseptic of some sort, we won't get any more infection, but let's get them, you know, just for the sake of, uh, I don't know, I don't know, just for the sake of getting them. Cotton bolts, I don't know why, but let's get them. Now, the shaving razor. Oh, this is not a straight razor. I get it. I get it. Toilet paper, hand mirror. Hand mirrors are used in... Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, dental floss. Get the dental floss because that's uh, the thread. Uh, and that is all for this house. Let's drop a little bit of stuff. And by the way, I hope you guys don't mind me going back to... Uh, the old habits of, you know, just just going around looting and setting up for a, a hopefully a long-running series. Now I don't necessarily want to move the vehicle because it's very noisy. It could attract a lot of zombies. Oh, this is a pool. Wait. No, a fitness gym. Fitness gym. But it's got a pool inside. The thing is, when you see a pool... Yeah, see? Um, I don't know why, but apparently in the Cataclysm universe, when people feel very sick, they want to jump in a pool, especially a very crowded pool, and then they all transform into zombies right there in the water. Okay, zombie dog. Zombie dog is bad news. Oh man, that's that's terrifying. Um, can't see me at my current location. I would like to avoid the zombie dog. Or maybe, maybe I, I can run it over the zombie dog. You know what I want to do? I want to get visual on what's outside, uh, you know, this, this, this way. I, I want visual on the road. And I'm gonna do that by getting here and then peeking through the curtains. Okay, no, no zombies here. No immediately visible zombies. Another thing I can do and get out of here and then peek like this and see that there's a zombie here. Now, s looks like we were seen. It, this is not the case. This is an RV. Apart from this zombie, it's pretty clear. Situation is pretty clear. So instead of venturing, you know, on the other side, you know, behind the houses, I might just walk right in here.
pack of cigarettes. Okay, I think we are set when it comes to cigarette. This thing has got some gasoline. Okay, we want to get that that gas. Uh, there's also a webbed zombie. Where's the webbed zombie? In the gym. Oh, in the gym. Of course. Maybe this guy was making all that noise. Web zombie. Slick and glistening human body. Sands of it are heavily webbed and is clad in swimwear. And for some reason, he was making a lot of noise. Like a lot of noise. Oh yeah. Get, get in the vehicle. No, no. Inside. Yes. You can do it. One, two, three, four. Nice. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh, there's more. This, that was a pool. That's absolutely like a normal pool. There's a ton of zombies inside. Look at that. That's exactly the way I told you. Like in this game. Uh, like zombies. Zombies want to get in pools for some reason. And get all webbed and stuff. Um, now what? Do I run them over? Let me see. What was the condition of my roller drums? Okay, some of them are alright, some of them are fairly beat up. The windshield is broken in here, the truck alternator has seen better days, the engine is pretty good. What I don't want to do, is I, I don't want to damage the alternator. Now, if I run a zombie over, is it gonna impact the rollers? I think it's gonna impact the rollers, right? If this thing is coded right, I guess that's what what needs to happen. Do I want to test this? There's a lot of them though. There's a lot. Of, okay, maybe you know what? Maybe we just we just move them. Maybe we just move these guys together with the others. No. So let's wait for them. Let's make sure they all follow, right? And we can herd all these zombies away from town. That's the miracle of having a vehicle. Look at that. Amazing. Speed up. And back to where we were. Okay, zombie dog is in view. But it's right at the edge of our vision. And that's a different zombie dog, so there's an entire pack in there. Let's be careful with that. Okay, what I want to see... I want to... Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. That zombie dog is closer than I thought. I wanted to look inside the gym. Oh, that's where they smashed everything. Let me look inside. Ooh, you know what? I should be careful with this because they might be in shadow and they might be able to see me. Like right now, I might be seen by zombies that are inside there. Okay, let's get back in here. Smash that zombie. I resolve paint, a purse. Nothing else. RV, what do you have for me? Half a liter of clean water. Do I have... I don't have no container on me. And nothing. Apart from that... Oh! I think you can move. And you know what? Yeah! Let's move this bad boy. Uh, collides? Don't collide. Don't do that. 
Okay. There you go. We got an extra vehicle. How funny is that? Uh, where do I want this? Yeah, I could, I could keep it in here. Oh, I could turn off the... I could turn off the, the fridge. Yeah, turn off the fridge. And stop driving. Yeah, that way we don't consume uh, the remaining battery. Yes, yes. Okay, we have an RV. The good thing about the RV is the fridge, mainly. I should have given a thought to all this metal scrap. But I mean, it's pretty close. What is that? A SWAT truck. Ooh, there could be something very good in the SWAT truck. Can I get in the SWAT truck? before I'm seen by zombies. Let me in the SWAT truck, in the SWAT truck, I want to be, okay, I was seen by a zombie. Oh, nice, AJK MP582, one of the most widely used submachine guns in the world. This is a 9mm, well, 9x19mm jacketed hollow point. Uh, give me. There's no space. I don't have no space for this stuff. Why don't I have no space? Is this pretty, very, very long? Uh, 4 liters is 68 centimeter in length. Oh, wait a second, light amp goggles. <laughs> light amp goggles, my friend. That is uh, that is the thing. Now, this vehicle has got a tank with diesel and nothing else. It's a wreck, but, but it's seven liters of diesel. So let's remember that. Oh, the zombie came. The zombie's in here and it's making noise. Uh, I think I need to bank on the fact that it's going through the vehicle. Oh, it's, it's two of them. Now. Now I don't have... <laughs> now I don't have a, a, a thingy anymore. Uh, give me the combat knife back. Uh, no, I don't, I, I don't want the rest. Okay, those zombies are now coming for me. I mean, this what what kind of uh, weapon is a stick? A stick is bash 18. Not a lot of a lot of two hit bonus though. But we got guys. Light am goggles. <laughs> you know what? We light am goggles. Uh, we can come back at night. We can definitely come back at night and loot this place absolutely dry and you know what is cool uh, at night uh, lighting fires lighting fires at night it's absolutely the best so you know what I think we're gonna go back to our vehicles right now um, and then we're gonna bring what measure of loot we already got uh, to base to our base and in the next episode, uh, we go out at night with light and goggles, because that's amazing. We got a zombie dog following us and other things, but that's not a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boulder, not funny. Items in here? Oh, utility vest. Is it? Is a utility vest good? I think a utility vest is pretty good. Uh, how do I see... How do I see... Yeah, it's got 3 liter capacity. 
Uh, what's the maximum length? 20 centimeters. It's not a lot, is it? Okay. Not in, not in particularly fancy in there. So yeah, we still, we still lack a proper weapon. I think I'll have to make something like a cudgel. Something quick. Something that, 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 that can do like a, a quick jab, then retreat, quick jab, retreat, something like that, right? I mean, pole arms are fantastic because if you do it right, uh, you're, you're, you'll basically never be in danger with a, with a pole arm, right? Or, or at least if you put yourself in danger, that is, that is your doing. So I don't know. I could, I could even just try the, the combat knife. Stop driving. I won't subject you to the, you know, removal of the loot or anything like that. Uh, but let me just look at the combat knife. Combat knife. I mean, the two hit bonus is not great, is it? It's 25 pierce, so it's a really good weapon, actually. The combat knife. It's just that it doesn't always hit. It's got rapid strike though. 50% moves, 66% of damage. I might just decide to use the combat knife. Hmm, 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 hmm. And it's a well-made weapon. So, yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, I also need to assess my armor. So, th th this is one thing I want to do uh, in, in between episodes. I'm gonna assess my current armor situation. Um, I'm gonna move the loot, maybe organize uh, a little bit better in here, and then, in the next episode, we will sleep through the day, so we get rid of the tired um, condition, of course, and we go back in town at night with light amp goggles, and it's gonna be amazing. Please look forward to it. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima!